as we gathered in this place today. Holy Spirit, come and have your way. Have your way. As we lay aside our own desires, sweep across our hearts and holy fire. Have your way. This is your house. Your hope, we welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, your hope, we welcome you today. This is your house, your hope, we welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, your hope, we welcome you. Lord, we welcome you today. Very good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Let's offer this holy mass for the following intentions. Diocese of Kadapa, Arikha Mata Parish. This mass is offered for Divivani TV. Corpus Fund Donors, Kambham, Prakash Reddy and Bor Reddy, Swarna Mary on the occasion of birthday of Kambham Prakash Reddy and Kambham Manjula Reddy and for good health of all family members and good future of Ajay, Soumya, Dhruvan, Bhuvan, Manju, Riha, and for the departed souls of Boreddi, Swarna Mary, Boreddi, Lurdu, Rayapareddi, Boreddi, Shaurreddi, Kambham, Innareddi, Kambham, Lakshmamma, and for the souls of all who died in the Allagadda Balamma family, by Boreddi Swarnameri family members. Today's Rosary, Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God, Holy Hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. Archdays of Hyderabad, Bollaram Parish, this Mass is offered for Moses Aruldas and Natalia Grace on their 42nd wedding anniversary for good health and good future of children, thanking God for all the graces received by sons and daughter-in-laws. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today the Lord is inviting all of us to repent to come back to the Lord. Unless we come back to the Lord, there will be a punishment to all of us. In the first reading of today, we hear Jesus is giving a lot of gifts to every one of us and making use of those the gifts which God has given, we should increase our faith in the Lord and turn to the Lord with an repentant heart and we should surrender ourselves fully to the Lord. At the times we were away from the Lord or going after many other things of this world, feel sorry and ask pardon and forgiveness 
by saying i confess to almighty god and you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask bless mary every virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have blessed us and give us to everlasting life amen, amen. lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy let us pray almighty ever living god grant that we may always confirm our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen christ is the head from whom the whole body is joined and held together first reading a reading from the letter of saint paul to the ephesians chapter 4 verses 7 to 16 brethren grace was given to each one of us according to the measure of christ's gift therefore it says when he ascended on high he led a host of captives and he gave gifts to men in saying he ascended what does it mean but that he had also descended into the lower regions the earth he who descended is the one who also ascended far above all the heavens that he might fill all things and he gave the apostles the prophets the evangelists the shepherds and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the son of god to mature manhood to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine by human cunning by craftiness in deceitful schemes rather speaking the truth in love we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head into christ from whom the whole body joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped when every part is working properly makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love the word of the lord thanks, thanks be to god your response shall be let us go rejoicing let us go rejoicing to the house of the lord to the house of the lord i rejoiced when they said to me let us go to the house of the lord and now our feet are standing within your gates o jerusalem your response let us go rejoicing let us go rejoicing to the house of the lord to the house of the lord jerusalem is built as a city bonded as one together it is there that the tribes go up the tribes of the lord your response let us go rejoicing let us go rejoicing to the house of the lord to the house of the lord for israel's witness it is to praise the name of the lord they were set the thrones for judgment the thrones of the house of david your response let us go rejoicing let us go rejoicing to the house of the lord to the house of the lord sing his praises loud and clear <coughs> hallelujah jesus christ our lord is near Hallelujah Sing his message loud and clear Hallelujah Jesus Christ our Lord is near Hallelujah 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 The Lord be with you 
and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke glory to you o lord chapter 13 verses 1 to 9 there were some present at that very time who told him about the galileans whose blood pilate had mingled with their sacrifices and he answered them do you think that these galileans were worse sinners than all the other galileans because they suffered in this way no i tell you but unless you repent you will all likewise perish or those 18 on whom the tower in siloam fell and killed them do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others who lived in jerusalem no i tell you but unless you repent you will all likewise perish and he told this parable a man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard and he came seeking fruit on it and found none and he said to the wine dresser look for 3 years i have now i have come seeking fruit on this fig tree and i find none cut it down why should it use up the ground and he answered him sir let it alone this year also until i dig round it and put on manure then if it should bear fruit next year well and good but if not you can cut it down gospel of our lord praise you lord jesus christ my brothers and sisters in jesus christ today the lord is inviting every one of us to come back to the lord to repent and come back for lord is loving so much he doesn't want to lose any one of us and that's why in the first reading we see god who went up sometime before he came down and he has given the gifts according to his will and according to our capacity and what we have to do with that gifts which given by god we usually using the gift of god we try to develop it we try to get name and fame and we try to enjoy those gifts and sometimes we forget the other the owner the creator and the giver one who gave to us and that's why jesus is telling us today every one of us has given a kind of gift to us and we have to make use fully these gifts are given to praise and worship only some are elected the apostles some are the prophets some are evangelist and some are shepherds teachers and so on and so forth and as we get these gifts we have to praise and worship and thankful to the lord my brothers and sisters today as we reflect the gospel of today i remember a incident took place with zekawurus 
Jesus has chosen Zacchaeus. Though there were so many around him, people were flocking. There were so many people around walking, following Jesus Christ. But Jesus never bothered about the people around him. He has an, a vision and he has an, a plan to change the person who is so much occupied with his own you know, worldly things. Amassing more and more money. Cheating the poor and the poorest people. And he is none other than Zechariah. And he has some interest to see Jesus. And he was in a sycamore tree. Jesus had a vision and he went to him and called. My brothers and sisters. Like Zechariah, we are also in this world. Such of pleasures. Going around from morning to evening. We are searching and searching and searching. We are, you know, hunting almost to amass more and more wealth, name and fame, pleasures, so and so forth. Zechariah also did the same. But today, Jesus went to Zechariah and calling him, come down. You know, we all of us have the great, great plans to come up in our life. Pressing the others down and we want to come up. By cheating others, you want to become a richest person, a powerful person. Of course, Jacobus did the same. And that's why today Jesus is inviting him, come down from from the tree. Which means you come down from all your pleasures, your attitude, your way of living, you come down. Because I have come from heaven to earth. And I have given you enough more talents, enough more gifts. By making use, you should praise and worship my brothers and sisters. And today, Jacobus listened to Jesus Christ and he had come down. And once he came down, Jesus said, the salvation has come to this house. Yes, this repentance, Zechariah could give everything to the poor people. That's what my brothers and sisters, we have to do. Today we have to come down from all kind of earthly pleasures and all kind of earthly things. And we must accept and Reject the Satan and accept God's call. That is true repentance. We have to change our heart, my brothers and sisters. In the gospel today, Jesus inviting us to repent. Jesus giving us through parable. He has given a grace spirit today. He has given a grace spirit today. And this is the time where we have to repent. It is an urgent call from God to turn from sinful life to this life, good life. Yes, we are all sinners. We have to accept today and we have to repent and come back. If we are not able, not able to repent ourselves, if we are not forgiving our brothers and sisters, as Jesus said, we will be perished by God. Jesus will, will, you know, he will command that we may perish. Like the Galileans, like the Israel people, who were finding fault in others when they have their own fault. So we have to realize our fault, our sinful life, and then when we change our heart, and come back to the Lord and God will bless us my brothers so let us surrender ourselves to the Lord and ask pardon and forgiveness and change and start a new life in this earth so that all our talents all our 
positions and works everything should be given to the lord and our life should be surrendered to the lord so that god will give blessings and pour out his heavenly blessings upon us in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. All that I am, all that I have, I lay them down before you, Lord. All my regrets and all my acclaims, the joy and the pain, I'm making them yours. Lord, I offer my life to you, everything I've been through. Use it for your glory, Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting my praise to you, as a pleasing sacrifice, Lord, I offer you my life, Lord, I offer you my life. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father Most Holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as you endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this is we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have a less worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Pope Francis, Paul Anthony, our Cardinal, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quiet to eternal life, and may praise and glory for you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of power, power and glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take Jesus away the sins of the, of the world. world. Have mercy Lord on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take Lord away Lord the sins of the world. world. Have mercy Lord on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to your holy. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Hide me now and I will so with you about the storm Father you are king over the floods And I will be still and know you are God I will be still and know you are God When the oceans 
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepare for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. For this is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus set me free. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus set me free.